Uh-oh. It looks like they're panicking. We have an emergency motion filed by TMZ to protect who leaked them the video. <clears throat> we know it was Amber. So <laughs> let's go ahead and read this motion. We don't have to read all of it, but let's go ahead and start. Emergency motion to intervene by EHM Productions for limited purpose of asserting journalists' privilege. EHM Productions, Inc., the owner and operator of the celebrity news website TMZ.com, collectively TMZ, by and through undersigned counsel, submits this emergency motion to intervene for the limited purpose of asserting the journalist's privilege pursuant to Supreme Court Rule 314. According to a published report, TMZ's former employee, uh, Morgan Tremheim, has been called to testify at trial imminently on behalf of plaintiff Johnny Depp regarding information provided to TMZ by a confidential source in violation of TMZ's and the source's rights under Virginia Rule of Evidence 2, uh, 508 and Brown v. Commonwealth. With this motion, TMZ seeks a protective order precluding plaintiff from eliciting from Mr. Tremaine, uh, Tremaine, Tremaine, from disclosing TMZ's privileged information during the testimony. Oh, interesting. TMZ is uncertain whether Mr. Tremaine is appearing pursuant to a trial subpoena. If he is, TMZ likewise requests that the court quash the subpoena. Journalists' promises of confidentiality are vital to reporting the news. That is why the law strongly protects the ability of journalists to keep their promises. The court should permit TMZ to keep the promises it made here. TMZ is a news organization headquartered in California that primarily covers entertainment and celebrity news. Mm hmm Yes. <clears throat> this video was provided to journalists at TMZ in California by a confidential source. TMZ promised this source that it would maintain their confidentiality and would not disclose their name or other information about them. TMZ makes such promises of confidentiality from time to time so that it may publish information in the public interest, and it relies on the journalist privilege protecting the identity of confidential sources to do so. TMZ's source has not, at any time since they provided the video, waived their right to confidentiality or indicated to TMZ that it was released from its promise of confidentiality. Yesterday, May 23rd, TMZ learned from a report published in Radar Online at 3.30 p.m. that plaintiff in this matter intended to call Morgan Tremine to testify very shortly. According to the Raider Online report, plaintiff plans to elicit testimony from Mr. Tremaine, Tremaine regarding TMZ's confidential source in an effort to quote-unquote impeach the credibility of defendant. Mr. Tremaine was a field assignment manager with TMZ at the time the article was published but no longer works for the company. He had nothing to do with TMZ's receipt of the video and on TMZ's information in behalf, Mr. Tremaine lacks first-hand knowledge of the identity of the confidential source who provided TMZ with the video. To the extent that Mr. Tremaine purports to know the identity of TMZ's confidential source, this, his information would be based on rumor and conjecture. Furthermore, any information that Mr. Tremaine may provide concerning TMZ's confidential source was obtained in the course of his employment with TMZ, and he lacks the authority to breach TMZ's confidentiality agreement with its source. TMZ now brings this motion to enforce its and its sources rights under the journalist privilege and to prevent the unauthorized breach of that privilege. TMZ should be permitted to intervene for a limited purpose. Intervention permits an interested non-party with leave of the court to voluntarily join a lawsuit already in progress so that the non-party's interest can be defended. The intervener may seek to intervene in the litigation in full or to participate in the action for a spe uh, specified limited purpose. The claim or defense of the intervener must be, quote, germane to the subject matter of the proceeding. The germaneness requirement means that the intervener has an interest that is, quote, relevant or closely allied to some aspect of the litigation. 
Whether to permit intervention in the pending lawsuit rests in the sound discretion of the court. TMZ's interest in the litigation is not only germane but tangible and highly relevant. Namely, it seeks to preserve its statutory, constitutional, and common law privilege to safeguard its news gathering and confidential sources, which may be challenged should its former employee take the stand and be subject to questioning. The news media is regularly permitted to intervene in instances in which it seeks to vindicate its First Amendment rights. Here, where the threat is to TMZ's own ability to protect its sources, the interest is direct. Moreover, TMZ's interest in protecting its privileged news gathering information is not otherwise adequately represented by the current parties to the action or by the witness or a former employee. If TMZ did not uphold the confidentiality of its sources, one would reasonably expect an oppressive effect on TMZ. It should be permitted to intervene for the limited purpose of vindicating its and its sources' rights. Virginia court recognized a privilege rooted in the First Amendment protecting the relationship between journalists and their confidential sources and preventing those sources from being outed in discovery or at trial. Mm-hmm. A similar privilege exists in California where the news gathering at issue in this case occurred. This privilege of confidentiality should yield only when the party's need for it is essential to a fair trial. And the Virginia Supreme Court has held that impeachment does not qualify for, uh, does not qualify when a litigant's right to impeachment evidence, quote, collides with the newsman's privilege of confidentiality, the privilege prevails unless the party seeking the impeachment evidence can show that it is somehow, quote unquote, material to an element of a party's claim or defense. Likewise, in a defamation case, a confidential source information is not essential, quote unquote, where it is not directly relevant to an element of the defamation claim. Um, let's see, TMZ, uh, or here it appears plaintiff seeks TMZ's confidential source information purely for purposes of impeaching the credibility of defendant and not because the information has anything directly to do with the elements of the underlying defamation case. As noted, an effort to obtain impeachment evidence for its own sake is insufficient to overcome the privilege, and the question of who provided a leak tape to TMZ is irrelevant to the elements of defamation. The identity of TMZ's source has no bearing on whether, for example, the statements plaintiff is challenging are substantially true, or whether defendant act, uh, acted with the requisite degree of fault. For the foregoing reasons, TMZ respectfully requests this court uh, to its intervene and to issue an order preventing Morgan Tremine from testifying regarding TMZ's confidential source. Boom. That is uh, very interesting, in my opinion. I, I think that that kind of shows... I mean, come on, guys. Who else could the source be besides, you know, <laughs> the person who took the video? I think we all know who this confidential source is. And I mean, I would also kind of argue that TMZ is not necessarily like a legitimate news organization. They're like, they're more like a tabloid, but whatever. I mean, I guess that's still news. So I just found that very interesting. We'll see what happens and how the judge will order, um, on this motion. We'll see if Mr. Tremaine is able to testify or not.